Okay, uh, we're gonna make a video on here on how to discharge a capacitor, okay? Um, now, keep in mind here, there's uh, several different ways to, um, to discharge a capacitor, and um, this is not your actual textbook way of doing it, but, you know, most people aren't gonna have a, a really fancy instrument to discharge it, right? So, just what you just need to keep it very simple, just have a screwdriver, this is your capacitor, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is before you, uh, before you actually, let's say, replace your capacitor or you put a hard start capacitor on there, you wanna discharge it. How do you discharge it? The easiest way to discharge your capacitor is having a well-insulated screwdriver. You actually just wanna go across it like that and then you wanna go across on the, on the casing too or like that and that will keep you from getting electrocuted, okay? Trust me, you do not want to get shocked. <coughs> Some people have a really fancy tool to do this, but really all what you need is this. A lot of people don't like using screwdrivers because they say uh, if you use a screwdriver, you might damage your capacitor. i rather damage my capacitor than killing myself, okay? So just get a, get a screwdriver, um, you can discharge it like that and that's pretty much very simple. Okay, so it's very sim It's very simple to discharge a capacitor uh, Be safe turn off your power turn off your circuit breakers uh, before servicing any of this equipment and uh, Just wanted to show you this is actually an aftermarket star capacitor here It's an aftermarket one No longer working, but that's an aftermarket one and uh, this is another capacitor here, okay? Okay, well, thank you for watching the video, okay? This is how you discharge a capacitor.